Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new series in which we are going to learn some graphs and charts in Flutter. So we are going to use this Flutter plugin that is Sync Fusion Flutter Charts. And um, but why do we need to learn uh, to create charts in Flutter? Sometimes you are creating such apps like Expense Tracker app or Doctors app in which you need to visualize the data, right? So for that purpose, we use Flutter charts. Right. And it's not like that there is only one Flutter plugin through which you can create uh, Flutter graphs or charts, but there are many other plugins and but we are going to cover this plugin. Right. And in further sessions, we are also going to uh, learn data analysis using Flutter. That's why I'm also creating this course. One of the reason. Right. So now without wasting more time, let's go to our Visual Studio code where I have created an empty new project. And this is my beautiful emulator which is running the simple default app, which you get when you create a new application or new project, right? So first of all, let's go to this plugin and let's copy this uh, plugin name and let's go to pubspec.yml and paste that over independencies. So control V and a colon, right? So let's click on this download button. So it is going to import all the libraries that I have written in dependencies. Now let's wait and it let's go to main.dart. And let me just clear everything. So let's build this uh, from starting. And in the lib folder, I'm going to create a folder called widgets, right? So let's create a folder called widgets. And in this widgets, we are going to uh, learn different, different types of charts. So I'm going to show you uh, four kinds. There are four kinds. It's not like that. There are only four types. I'm talking about kinds. So in the first video, that is this video, we are going to learn the Cartesian charts, which covers line charts, spline chart, area chart, and many other kinds of charts, right? So we are going to see each of them and you just need to change one keyword and the whole chart uh, layout will change, right? And in the coming parts, we are going to learn pie chart, radial charts, and live charts also, right? Live charts are very important because sometimes you get live data. So the widgets, I'm going to create one file called Cartesian chart dot dart, right? So first of all, in the main dot dart, let's import material dot dart. And let's define a simple void main function. Run app. New my app. And let's create a stateless widget. And let's call it as Maya. And to this Maya app, I'm going to return material app. And yes, we are going to use, uh, uh, let's first of all define a title called Flutter Graphs. And you can let me know in the comment section what you want to learn next because sometimes I get confused what I should teach. So you can tell me in the comment section, right? So let me just remove the debug banner. Let's call false. And then we can define the theme. So I'm going to use the dark theme. You can choose any kind of theme. So theme data. Then let's call, uh, let's call brightness brightness dot dark right let me just save it and we have to call home so let's go to cartesian chart and let me import material dot dart over here and let's uh, create a state full widget and let's call it cartesian chart widget perfect and let's return scaffold And let's create a simple app bar with a title as Cartesian chart. Cartesian charts. Perfect. Let's save it. And in the main dot dot in the home section, don't worry about the error. It will be resolved. Let's call Cartesian chart widget 
and now let's just save it and let's refresh perfect so you can see it's a it's showing a simple app bar now we can uh, draw our cartesian charts over here so let's go to main dot dot why it came to this file i don't know yeah so in the cartesian chart dot dot we are going to return first of all a body let's create body and in this body let's create a container let's give it a margin and let's give it a color so that we can see if our container is existing let's create colors dot red and let me just save it perfect so this is my container in which i'm going to draw the chart so let's create a child and let me just remove this color let's create a child and in the child we are going to return sf cartesian chart sf cartesian chart so we are calling sf cartesian chart in some other case we will be calling sf circular chart and in anything else right so let's focus on cartesian chart first so in the cartesian chart if you will hit control plus space you will be able to see a lot of parameters that you can provide right so we are going to see some of them so first thing that i want to provide is the title of the chart so let's create a title and in this you have to uh, call a widget called chart title right and in this you can provide text parameter and you can write cartesian chart or you well, let's write sales data because we are going to take some sales data sales data perfect so we have called title and a few more parameters we will be seeing soon so first of all let's uh, focus on uh, series parameter so in the title after title we have series and in this series you have to provide a list so on one graph uh, let's take an example in your school uh, you take one graph paper and you can draw as many plots on it right in the same way this series is going to take multiple plots right so and this is a simple graph paper let's assume that it is a graph paper and on this graph paper you can draw as many graphs as you want right so in this series it's uh, taking a list and let's take the first uh, chart and let's call it line series i'm not calling it it's a inbuilt widget line series right so i'm drawing a line chart and as i clicked on line series you can see that these are the compulsory parameters that is data source because we have to provide a data source then x value mapper y value mapper right so let's focus on the data source so in this we have to provide a list of data so for that thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a list in this class and let's call it uh, list final list final list and this will be of type sales data so sales data is nothing but a class that i'm going to create sales data class and um, let's call this uh, list as chart data and let's create an empty list for now and first of all let's create the sales data class so class sales data and in this we are going to take final year then then the sales and the color so final year will be a double then final sales so let's do one thing final string year then final double sales then final color as the color right and let's create a constructor perfect let's save it so now in this uh, it's a class and it takes three parameter that is year sales and color and now let's create some list data so let's call sales data so as i hit you can see that i have to provide year sales and color so here is a string so let's take 2001 so let's see that let's assume that in 2001 the sales were around 34000 and the color is let's take color start red let's copy this let's paste it 
some more times and let me make it 2002, 2003, 2004 and 2005 and let's assume the sales as 36,000, 37,000, then 31,000 and the last is 20,000. Color, let's take blue, let's take green, let's take orange and let's take purple. So my data source is ready. So this is my data source, chart data is my data source. So in the data source, I have to write chart data. Now I have to also provide that this series is a chart data series or chart series, chart series, right? And in the line series, what I'm doing is I have to provide that what are the types of X and Y. So Y is sales data and my x is a string because in the x axis i am going to show the years 2001 2002 and you can see that this year i have taken a string so this will be string and this will be sales data so i have provided the data source now i have to provide the x value mapper and the y value mapper right so in the x value mapper what i am going to do is i have to map the values from sales data to the x value that i have to show in the x axis of my graph right so you have to define a tuple and in this you have to define sales data comma sales sorry not comma sales data sales comma and underscore right so this parameter we don't need that's why i'm putting a simple underscore then you have to map it to sales dot year so what does this mean this means that you are going to go inside sales data whatever sales you have got for this thing and you are going to map this sales data's year and you have to show the year on the x-axis in the same way let's copy the same thing let's paste it over here and in the y-axis i'm not going to show the year i'm going to show the sales right sales dot sales so this is y-axis this is x-axis data right perfect and if i just save it there is no error let me just save it okay so we are getting this error as string is not a subtype of num so i think that this x should also be a number so what i will do is firstly i will just remove this string and let's call it as int only and then we will make it int and then to this i'll remove all the quotes perfect so now you can see that my chart is in front of me right so the error was only that we have to provide a int value or number value to this x value mapper also so that was the error right so when i changed uh, so when i removed all the quotes uh, and made it to int then we can see our chart Right, so it's not like that this chart is going to take the whole space what you can do is uh, in the container you can define a height and width so let's take the height as 300 so if i just control save it you can see that now it is uh, showing the chart in this 300 height only right so in the same way you can change the width you can change the height you can give a margin you can give a padding right now let's see a few more uh, parameters in this line series Right, so when you will hit control plus space you will be able to see a lot of things right so i can see that my legend is not visible so for to show the legend you have to go in sf cartesian chart and you have to write legend and in this legend you have to write a legend widget and there is a parameter called is visible and this visible will be true and if i just save it you can see uh, this you can see this legend right so you can change the series name it's uh, currently showing series 0 so for that you can go in line series and you can write legend item text and to this you can write legend uh, title i think and you can provide a text parameter and let's call it sales so to change this series uh, in the line series you can give a parameter called legend title item text legend item text and you can provide a string and let's call it sales and now if i just save it you can see that legend title is changed to sales so like this you can create as many charts as you want right so let's say you want to change this blue color so for that thing you can go in line series take color and or let's say uh, we have taken this color parameter right and we are providing different different colors so what i can do is uh, in this you can have to provide point color mapper point color mapper and to this you can provide sales data comma sales because 
each and every coordinate has a sales data uh, thing right and you can write sales.color so it will map the colors that we have provided to each and every coordinate so if my if i just save it you can see that each and every line is changed so from 2001 to 2002 it is red because we have provided red then 2002 to 2003 is blue because we have provided blue right so this was a thing so now let's say you want a dashed line in in your chart so for that thing what you can do is write a dash array parameter and in this you have to write double and then a list and in this list you have to write the length comma gap so if i just write 5 comma 5 and if i just save it you can see that you can see that this line is now changed to dash but let's say i want to uh, have a different length of this dash and a different gap between these dashes so for that thing you can just change it to 10 comma 5 and this first parameter is the length and the second parameter is the gap size so if i just save it you can see that now dash length is uh, larger than the gap because the ratio is uh, 2 is to 1 right so i hope you like this video and we have covered everything but let's say you want uh, to have different charts so this was a line series so you can just change this line and let's make it bar so if i just make it bar and if i just save it you will be able to see the bar charts and if i just change this bar to let's say spline and rest everything is same because everything is in the cartesian chart so you can see that there is a curve thing so this is called spline chart so if i just change this spline to area and if i just save it you will you will be able to see the area chart and you can change the color so for that thing you can define a color parameter in the area series and you can write color start red and if i just save it if i just save it you can see that the color is changed so after this area we have column series also so in this column series if i just save it you can see that these are the columns right and the last thing is the waterfall series so you can read about each and every type of uh, chart in the api documentation also right so this was the uh, waterfall series so i hope you like this video in the next series we will be creating a pie chart and the next one we will be creating a radial chart and the final part we will be creating a live chart right so i hope you like this video till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot